so now when you are on the home page of dlink router so here you have to click on connection setup then you have to click on when okay so here you will get a connection list so click on add so here you will get plenty of options so i'm gonna select ppoe because i'm using a broadband which is a modem so we need a username and password to connect so my username will be okay so you have to leave all those cities and it's up to you guys if you want to fill this so i'm just gonna enter the service provider name and yeah click on okay so here uh, you will get this pop up so if in case your uh, ppoe connection won't work and if you do have another alternate connection like uh, if you are using another router which is already configured then you can click and you know create a new connection but uh, i'm gonna skip it because i am totally going to rely on this ppoe connection so just skip on this and here you will see that it's disconnected just wait for a second and let's see okay so ppe ppoe connection does work and it's connected and let's now test the internet so i do have a speed of uh, 100 mbps so let's see how it works for that i'm gonna open speed test so right now i'm connected with the LAN cable as you can see that and the router is dir841 so this will be the internet speed i believe so let it complete So this is how it's done guys, it's very simple and I didn't feel anything you know which is complex in this particular setup. So that's all for today, see you in the next one.